So I don't know about you kids, but if I were you and I was in your shoes with what just took took place in my life and with what I've seen, I would be furious. And I am furious. But I'm saying if I was in your shoes, I would be furious. And so I gave you guys a good example of what I, in that situation, would yell at that bitch. The bitch of a mother that would do this to their own fucking kids. And I don't care how you move, how, how you move or how you want to stick up for her. She did this to me because, look... It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The fact of the matter is, is that you kids were brought into it in ways that you did not need to be brought into it. You dig? That Christmas, he he didn't. He no no one, none of your kids needed to be brought into this. For where you moved in my life, bitch, you got to be fucking kidding me. But here's a good example of what I would do if I was in your shoes. I would yell at her. Why are you doing this to me? Why are you putting me through this? Why do you keep hurting us? You don't think that I see what you're doing? But I do. I see it all. You pretend like you care. But you don't care about people. You're using people. And you're using me. You think you're so smart. Like you're going to get away with this. But you can't hide how evil you have been. Not from me. Not from me. I see clear through what you're trying to do. You've lied to me. You've lied to everyone. And you've lied to Matthew. And you've pretended like you've cared. You don't even hurt how he's hurting. you. And how could you even care? How could you even care? That man cared in... That man cared a lot about you. And all you did was do everything to try and destroy him. And now, you don't love me right then. If you're going to do this shit, you don't love me right then. Do you have it in you to love anybody? Because I don't think you do, Mom. You need to fix yourself. I'm not always going to be here to be your pawn. And I won't let you twist or control me or twist my mind to make me believe in your lies. I am not a part of this. You did this. You did. So you face the consequences. You don't get to drag me into any of this anymore. Not at all. I'm smarter than that. Stronger than I even wanted to be. And now I see you for who you really are. A monster that doesn't care about anyone but herself. You tried to take everything away from me. Even my life. But I'm still here. I'm still standing. And no... You don't have the right to break a person down in that kind of way. At all. Ever. I won't let you do to me what I won't let you do to me to anybody else. And as far as this shit's concerned, I'm not going to let you use your own kids in that kind of way. When I was going through things that you knew about prior, but you decided to fucking move that way anyway. You are such a heartless piece of shit. So fucking heartless. Using my place as a little fucking escape place because his, his mom wouldn't have been too fucking happy to have you over there. And I don't think he, I don't think he could have came over to your house and maybe he did. Maybe that's the face that I saw on, on, on your son's face. I don't know. Something was bothering him.
And I think it was about this. You have no right to use your own kids in this way. You can't use your own kids to do your dirty work. Do your own dirty work for your own dirty ass self. And that's really how messed up you are. Bitch. You've hurt way too many people in this. And I'm not going to let you hurt me anymore. And so these kids need to say that. I'm not going to let you hurt me anymore. You think you can make somebody feel that fucking worthless and then drag me into this as if I have any part in this? No! You made those decisions! You moved how you moved! And you drug me into these kinds of situations where I didn't deserve to be! So these are for the kids that deserve to speak out? Speak out! You deserve to stick up for yourself. And I don't care who it's against, including your own mother or father. Kids, don't be silenced. If you have reason in this kind of way, you stand up for yourself. You speak until your voice shakes. Because it does. I will never let you make me into nothing to make me feel like I'm nothing or to try and turn me into nothing. I am somebody and I am somebody. I am something. You tell her, I'm special. I don't know what the heck you did, but I'm special and I get this stuff. You brought this poison into my life. So you want to, you brought this poison into our home, our lives, and you ruined everything. But I'm not going to let you ruin me any more than you already have. I am done with this. You don't even deserve to be called parent because parents don't do this to their kids. You don't care about anybody but yourself, mom. How could you even do that to somebody that loves you like that? Somebody that cares about you so much. How could you do that to, to him? Why did you do that to Matthew? Why, mom? Why did you do that to Matthew? You can pretend like you don't care. But I can see you do. You did. You used to. What happened, Mom? What happened? I am not going to take this from you anymore, Mom. I care about me. I care about me. And I care about the future that's in front of me right now. And I'm young. And I don't understand this shit. And I'm not going to let you take my future away from me like this, Mom. You will never control me again. Never. I feel bad for you, kid. Her driving out here, like, or her making you drive out here. She had plans that night all the way to and through to ruin me up that much more than I already was being ruined. I don't deserve this shit. And neither do you kids. That's my real. What she did is just incredible. Incredibly evil. And incredibly narcissistic and sociopathic and psycho. Just fuck, fucked. So now I'm answering back and all, all of a sudden I'm the person, I'm the, uh, yeah, whatever. All of a sudden I'm the one that needs to be watched all for. <laughs> yeah, right. 
I've been holding tight to my resolve with my love life for a long time regarding that, that man. Regarding that fucking piece of shit man. Thinks he's such a fucking faithful man can waltz all over into somebody's life and just dance all over their fucking love life like that. This comes from a completely smart man behind a fucking computer. Behind a computer and shit. Yeah, sure, he's sure he's a fucking smart fucking man. But that's just it. He has no fucking, no ability to think that the spirit of the Lord has any kind of way to signal a person through their prayer value. I, I'm tough as nails when it comes to this shit now. Gee? Spiritually? Ethically? Morally? You messed up. That's all I have to say. And, and I'm going to end this because this is really made for these kids. And I really feel that they have every right to say every single one of these words and then some. I'm giving them some bones here with what's happened to me in my life. She does not have any right to drag any one of you into any part of this. At all. And I feel really bad for you guys. Because that's a grind, man. That's a grind. I, I've been young. I've been young. I know what some of this stuff is like. Not not to this level. Not to in, in this way. I, 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 I had dealt with other things growing up though. So. I want you guys to know. That you have the right to stick up for yourself. When it comes to somebody that's done something like that. Even if they haven't. Even if I haven't been able to prove anything right now. You believe how you believe. You move how you move. But all I'm telling you is I would not come out here with this shit if I wasn't 100% truthful with it. I'm not going to come out here like this and just fucking... What the fuck, man? That would be a really fucking evil thing to do. Do you know what I'm saying? Just come out there or, um, I don't know. I can't even think that way. I'm just, it, it's just not, this is a reality to me. It's not something I'm creating. What I created here for, for, for you kids. Yeah. I have a lot of anger and, and, and hostility towards my own father. The way he fucking left me in the fucking womb. I I wasn't even a piece of this life. You know what I mean? I wasn't even a part of this life. Yet, I was already being abused. So, you know, I just want, I just, I just feel really bad. I just feel really bad. Like, really, really, really bad. I don't think it's just gonna go away. It's like that, it's that kind of pain that's just, uh, it's for longevity, I guess. I don't know. I don't, I didn't deserve it. I didn't deserve any of it. But, I can't even get out the fucking door lately. Like, it takes everything. Every fucking thing. Fuck where these people moved in my life. Fuck where they did. Fuck what they did. And fuck everything about them right now. They belong in jail. And they belong. I, I want to sue. I want to fuck. I, 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 I want retributions made for the way I've been treated. You're not going to just sit there and poison me up little by little. Use me up. Gaslight me for my keys. Come into my home. And then, oh, how fucking easy was it to just push me out of my own home? All I had to, and it happened a couple times where it was like, I, I'm being left to, to, with really hardcore feelings going on. And she's all supposedly like, like the St. Albany thing. I don't think that was St. Albany. I think that was that motherfucking G. And the only goal there was to push me out of my house. Look what happened. 
I, I collected my stuff, got back in my car, and drove over to, drove over to her house. And guess what? She was about an hour late. An hour late for to acting like she's coming from St. Albany. Bullshit. Bullshit. You know what she did? You know what they did? They used that to drive me out of my house and get me in my heart going, Oh no, she's cheating on me. I need to go and catch her at her house. I need to go and find her at her house. Also, also these two can play about my mind to come back in here. To come back in here. Because, oh, they, they didn't want to go back to his house. I think his I think his mom might have even fucking knifed him in the face if he's gonna do something like that. But then, but then, I I don't know. Did he did he did he show up there? Did you catch them too? I don't know. Either way, they have no fucking right doing this to me in my life. So if you see that fucking beard straggly ass fucking scrawny ass motherfucker that looks like a fucking rat he does he looks like a fucking rat because that's all he is he's a fucking rat he's a fucking cage ass animal rat that deserves to be in a fucking box in a cage right now either in that box or cage one way or another gee this doesn't fucking end well and I think you know that which is exactly why you needed to fucking remove me because you know, you know first and foremost, you if you st if you if you were hacking me and you took you took that story, which I really think you did, because I'm all like Jesse did this and, and Jesse started doing that, and then oh my God, it just dawned on me that Jesse, oh like you know you know what I mean? I started and it was like maybe I was like maybe oh I don't know four or five hundred pages into a story about about all of these abuses and shit. I had a long story and that story gets siphoned out of my computer. You don't know how bad how bad that fucking pissed me off. And the post-it note told me the post-it note told me, you know who's in this. It's really hard to fucking it's really hard to think, but you know who's in this. It's your old fucking friend, man. It's your old fucking friend that's in this right now. Someone that's someone that's supposed supposed to be there for you, but yeah, he's willing to fucking hack you and malign you and move in this way with absolution and aim over your life. Over your life. So you tell me how that's fair, G. How is it fair? You're gonna come up into my life that way and ruin me all up. You know what? I, I want my fucking story back. I want my story back. I don't want you to be using my story against me. And that's what that told me when you said that. I don't think that someone could set somebody up like that. Fuck you, you motherfucker. You know with where you moved in my life. And you know, you know, the Lord is not happy about you, man. Not at all. So you, you want to play about me in that kind of way. Y'all have some fucking nerve. School just started. These kids going through this kind of bullshit. Those head spaces. Are they okay? Are they? I don't think that they are. But furthermore, G, as far as where you're concerned, your head space ain't right at all. You belong in hell. And I'm going to take you to jail. I'm going to make sure you go to jail for the fucking activity that you took into my life. I don't care how long it takes. My life has been completely ruined. Completely ruined by you. And you know it. You fucking know it. You know who you are. You know who you've been in my life. And I'm out to take and discover every last part of it. I don't want any stone left unturned in this. I want all them stones turned over, bitch. How you moved in my life. My, 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 physiolo my physiology is different. My whole chest is different. From like here 
all the way down here. I feel that shit, G. Whatever you guys did to me, whatever you guys did to me, that's my real. This isn't just a smoker's chest at, at my age with my stamina. This is from poisoning, and this is from poisoning with intent. And when I came in that day and I fell to the ground and I'm holding on to my heart for dear life in the fucking fetal position, I barely made it into my bed. And I wanted to cry so fucking bad because I knew, I knew that with what I was experiencing right there was meant to absolutely kill me and leave me for dead. So with where you guys moved, not even thinking, not even thinking about me being able to make it through it because you guys word salad a fuck out of me thinking that that was enough so you guys have no idea how I am even here how I am even still standing here you two know exactly the way you moved and what kind of door it would have opened up for y'all had I fucking died fucking pieces of shit and that is the truth y'all are fucking pieces of shit because i've been doing formidable work and the both of you know it